Volcanion uh, EX's split water. So now we are playing the expanded format, which if you're one of my magic playing members or Hex, you're familiar with those games. Expanded is similar to Modern or Legacy. It's a non, non-rotating non format, wider card pools. So a, a lot of the EX Pokemon are similar, though. Uh, Shaman here is my first basic, is a little bit medium, still in this format, too. We have an Ultra Ball, though, and Trainer Mails, and Battle Compressor is actually very good in this deck, so... We've got a we've got a ho o that this can go find, which can return from the discard pile to play. Yep, yeah, this this client that we're playing online here is completely free. You can search for just Pokemon TCG online, and you can just give it a download yourself and try it out. Battle compressor here is gonna go ahead and grab ho o. And one of the things I'm trying to do is I can take note here of like which Pokemon are left in my deck and which cards you can kind of get a feel for like which prize cards you have in your deck. So the basis of this deck is to put a bunch of different types of Pokemon into play and then knock my opponent out with a really powerful Xeranus. So I'm going to go ahead and trainer mail here before we do anything I think. Would like another battle compressor which is exactly what we found. And then we're going to go ahead and Battle Compressor again here and grab and execute a second Ho-Oh and a third type of energy here. Because when Ho-Oh, once per turn before we attack, we can flip a coin. And if we win the flip, we return Ho-Oh to play with three energies attached to it. And Ho-Oh does bonus damage for the amount of different types of energies it has. And I'm very unlucky with Ho-Oh, so we brick. We brick a lot. Let's go ahead and trainer mail here, see what we find this time. Another Ultra Ball, that's fine, because the Execute that we ended up putting in our discard pile here has the ability where we can return it, return it to our hand. So that gives us some extra things to discard to these Ultra Balls. So let's go ahead and play this, and then discard Execute and Fighting Fury Belt here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my Xeranus out of my deck. And I'm going to go ahead and play my Xeranus out. And we can return this Execute to our hand multiple times per turn. So we're going to go ahead and pick it back up here again. And I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball again here. Discarding these two. I want to hold the double color synergy because I want to put that on my Xeranus. And this time around, I'm going to go ahead and get Hoopa EX. And when Hoopa gets put onto our bench, it goes and finds us three other EX Pokemon. So we'll grab Hoopa. I'm going to go ahead and attach this double colorless so I don't forget. We'll play Hoopa out here and we'll activate him and we'll search our deck for a Keldon, a Yevidal, and a Shaman here. And this is all the first turn of the game. So we can't we can't attack this turn because it's the first turn. And we'll go ahead and play these out, and then we'll go ahead and play the Shaman out here. We'll draw up until we have six cards in our hand again, so casual draw six at the end of our tutor chain. And then we actually drew the Karen. This is a hate card, so the deck our opponent's playing, let's talk about what they're doing for a second, is called Night March. And what this does is this deck does 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon that have the Night March attack mode in their discard pile. So their deck is going to try and fill their, their discard pile up with a bunch of Pokemon that have Night March, and then one-shot our guys down. Um... I actually think I want to just pass the turn here. Karen shuffles all Pokemon from all discard piles back into players' decks. Uh, I don't think I want a Sycamore here. I think I'm going to wait at least a turn. And there's Battle Compressors of their own, which allows them to find cards from their deck and put them in the discard pile, just like we did. Lagging Unicorn with the Twitch Prime subscription. I appreciate the support. Thank you and welcome to the stream. Prime subscriptions are the absolute best way you can show your support for the stream. So thank you for that. I do appreciate it. My opponents like to kind of thin their deck. They play these unknowns, which they can just discard basically to draw a new card. Oh, you know what's possible last turn? I should have, um, 
I probably should have used the AZ last turn to pick this up and do this. Although, I guess he might be able to attack and knock out my guy this turn. Yeah, I really like this Rainbow Road deck a lot. The Rainbow Road decks in Standard and Expanded are my two favorite decks right now. Oh. While my opponent's sitting here taking their turn, I like to take a second to plug my sponsor for the stream. So we've got the Super Rodcast logo up there at the top of the stream. They are a competitive po focused Pokemon TCG podcast. You can find them on SoundCloud and Twitter and iTunes and all those other places. And now I'm kind of wishing I would have Sycamored last turn. Because I don't have anything going on here. Yeah. Alright, so I can go ahead and put this on here, and then we found a float stone here, which is nice, so this card, Kel Kel Keldeo, has an ability called Russian, which allows me to put him up as our active Pokemon, and then float stone allows me to retreat for free, so basically it allows us to switch Pokemon on demand. And then my Rainbow Force here, I have one, two, three, four different types of Pokemon on my bench, so my Rainbow Force attack is going to do 120 plus 10, or 130 damage, so we're going to go ahead and knock this guy out in one hit. Grab a prize card here. Skyfield is great. Skyfield allows us to each player have eight Pokemon on their bench, which means we'll have a chance to. We bend those two Ho Ho's on the first turn of the game that we missed, so we'll have a turn to bring those back into play here. Yeah, there's, there's multiple Super Rod in this deck. Multiple, multiple super rods. I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware we discarded extra Zeranesses there. That being said, against the Night March deck, um, our, a lot of our opponent's Pokemon don't have a lot of hit points, so Ho-Oh is actually pretty quickly lethal against the Night March deck a lot of the time. Uh, there's not limited in Pokemon. So, my opponent, this card makes their Psychic Attacks cost one less, so this is going to be able to Night March this turn. So they've got four, six... So that's 120 in their battle compressing here again. So this is going to one-hit KO my Zaranus here. So hopefully one of our Ho-Ho's comes back next turn so we can use that to knock out their Pumpkaboo here. I really don't do limited in any TCGs. Yep, so 160 knocks my guy out. I'm going to go ahead and put the Keldeo up since it has the Retreat Stone on it. Here's the DCE. Uh, go ahead and play the Sky Field out here. There are custom deck boxes and backs. Tails, come on. Come on. God bless America. That's really unlucky. Let's just run, run Tails on those four times in a row. I guess let's go ahead and grab this. I don't... I don't think I have anything in my deck worth Ultra Balling for right now. Let's find out. Yeah, I guess I'll grab a... I guess Jolteon's okay. Although my electric energy is in my prizes, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So let's put this out here. And um, I'm actually going to go ahead and put this on Shaman and attack with Shaman, I think, here. Actually, I guess let's Sycamore here first and see what we get. Okay, Super Rod is good. Super Rod lets us put Pokemon from our discard pile back into our deck. So let's go ahead and put three of these Zeranus back into our deck here. Um, I already played a supporter for the turn. So let's go ahead and retreat this and put Shaman up here. And then Shaman's going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and Sky Return here, which puts it and the energy back into my hand. Uh, I think I'm just putting the other Shaman up, since I want a variety of different types of Pokemon on my bench. Oh, you know what? This was... I punted here again. God, I'm so bad at this game. 
which is one of the reasons why I enjoy it. And I know that probably sounds weird to hear, like, I enjoy playing the game because I'm bad at it, but I like I like feeling like I'm learning something when I'm playing my games. And what I should have done here is I should have um, returned this execute to my hand from my discard pile. And then, okay, they have a Lysander, so it doesn't matter. But what I should have done is I should have returned the execute from my discard pile to my hand and then put that on my bench and then thrown the execute under the bus here. They ended up having Lysander, so it didn't, it didn't matter, but... The, the optimal play there was getting the execute back. Let's go ahead and put this shaman up here, speaking of. All right. Come on, ho -Oh. We've had four tails in a row. All right. God bless you. So get these into play here. What am I doing here? So... I have an Ultra Ball here, so I can trainer, so I can go get a, I can go get one of my Xeranesses back out of my deck. I can return this Execute to my hand to discard to that. Um, this Ho-Oh can knock this out. I haven't played a Supporter yet for the turn, so I think I'm going to go ahead and Verse Seeker for my Karen and just go ahead and Karen to shuffle all of all the Pokemon for everyone's discard pile back into their decks, which can, which makes my opponent's Night March do a whole lot of nothing. Um, I definitely want to get some other stuff going here, though, so let's go ahead and Ultra Ball here, discarding the Execute. I'm not sure what the second card I want to discard here is. I kind of don't... Like, I don't want to hold the second Skyfield just in case they bump the one I have now. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bend the Trainer's Mail because I don't think I really need that. I'm going to grab Xeranes out of here so we can get that, start getting that charged up. We'll slide this out here. I'll go ahead and put Energy Switch or Double Colors Energy in here. I don't think I want a Shaman just to deal. Um, I don't want a Shaman just to draw two cards. It seems a little loose. So I'm going to go ahead and rush this in and then retreat it for this Ho-Oh. And this Ho-Oh is going to do 80 points of damage because it has 20 plus 20 more for each different type. It's got three different types of energies on it here. So to politely knock that out. Grab a prize card here. Computer Search is not bad. So Computer Search is like Ultra Ball, only it can get any card out of our deck. So discard two cards from our hand. Go get dealer's choice of things from our discard pile. Battle Compressor are going to start filling up their discard pile again with Night March Troops. Night March Pokemans, whatever you want to call them. I started playing Pokemon at the end of last year, after one of my buddies talked me into picking it up after the Players' Championship finished up, and I've really been enjoying it. This is one of the matchups where Ho-Oh is really pretty good. Like I said, mentioned earlier, all my Pokemon's life total are really pretty low, so being able to just, like, Ho-Oh them down just as good as Xeranus and them down is pretty pretty great. Escape Rope, sure. So we each switch. That really... It really doesn't matter what we what we put up here because we have the the Kel Keldeo here that can rush in and then float stone back, so I'm not sure what my opponent is trying to accomplish here, really. They're just, like, hoping I missed that, perhaps, or they knew they were discarding it anyway, so they might as well. Thanks to do 20 extra damage, I believe. Yep. Yeah, that all is weak. <laughs> God, I'm dumb. All right, so me being, we were not punished for me being dumb. If they would have been able to get one more Night March Pokemon into their thing, we'd have been punished for me being dumb. Thank, thankfully, there is very little justice in the world as we know it, and we were not punished for me being an idiot. God, God bless. All right, so. Uh, let's go ahead 
Let's go ahead and return this to my hand. Uh, Magic's in a really bad spot right now, and I, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying not playing Magic. My opponent hasn't bumped my Skyfield yet, so I think I feel safe to discard that at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and discard this Execute, and I guess I don't really need this Energy Switch. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to the extra Skyfield for now. So the Computer Search can grab any card out of our deck. I'm going to go grab this last Verse Seeker here, and then I'm going to Verse Seeker our Karen, our Karen again here. Like take all of their their few night march guys out of here again. That they're working they're working hard to keep those in there. But no no oh oh god the punch! I accidentally I was I was moving so quickly there. We're, we're probably not going to get punished for that one either because again very little justice in the world. But um I should have uh I should have returned the execute to my hand before before doing that. Uh, do I want to do anything else here? I guess I, I kind of want this Jolteon on my bench. I'll just go ahead and uh, tell them to taste the rainbow here. The rainbow burn in this particular case. Grab that. There's the lightning energy for the Jolteon. Sweet. Let's dive DCE away. Do we have DCEs in here? One DCE there. So there might be, might be up to two in the deck still. Am I still playing Eternal? I'm playing Eternal occasionally on, like, draft on my phone, but the Constructed in Eternal is really expensive to get into, so I don't really want to invest the time or the money into learning the the Constructed in Eternal, so to actually do what I want to do, so probably not going to be doing a ton of it. Sycamore, okay. See how many Night March guys they got in their hand here. It's possible I was a little bit too aggressive with that second Karen. Wow, they have two Night March guys in their hands. This is doing 60 right now. Let's see what they're able to put together here. So we'll put this on Jolteon here. Pretty fine putting the Fighting Fury Belt on my Ho-Oh, -Oh, I think. And then, yeah, I don't think I really have anything else to do. I guess I could Super Rod the Energies back into my deck. Yeah, I don't actually mind doing that. I kind of want to get these Energies into my deck. I wouldn't mind drawing them so I could suit Jolteon up. Oh, that wasn't worth what I spent. Yep, exactly. I and and I've been saying this a few different places. I really feel like um the like the air of superiority that Magic has, has enjoyed for a really long time it just like isn't quite there anymore. Um, a lot of these other games, like most of us, myself especially, just I didn't give a real enough chance to. And like Hex and Pokemon, all these different games, like they have a lot of depth to them that like just like Magic has, and they're they're pretty interesting. Have a lot going on, and I didn't give them a real enough chance. And now that I have, I'm really enjoying them. Play another match or two here. Got 175 people hanging out here this afternoon. Remember, if you're new to the stream, use the follow or subscribe button to show their support. Had a few new subscribers today. I appreciate that. Welcome into the new year, folks. Hope everyone's having a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you're at in the world. Of course, I would like to go first. Yep, completely understand. Nemesis. Like I said, I actually haven't put any money in yet because I'm lucky that I have a buddy that allows me to borrow cards. So, uh, again, don't want to start with Shaman on the bench because uh, when we play it, we get an effect. All right, opponent's playing some kind of dragon energy deck here with Viridian, City Gym, extra poison, so probably the poison ray stuff. So my opponent had to mulligan there, and Pokemon, you have to mulligan. We don't have any basics in your opener. So they had to mulligan, so we're going to have to draw an extra card because they mulligan. We got a Battle Compressor in our opener again, which is just... The Battle Compressor is so good in this deck. Like, having the Ho-Oh access to fight on is great.
Fighting Fury Belts, not bad. Again, don't want to start with that on the bench. Seisma Toad, your opponent can't play item cards for his or her hand next turn. This attack does three damage to two of your benched Pokemon. Okay, sure. That's a strong attack, though. All right, let's go ahead and battle. Compressor, it's a little awkward that we have... Uh, that we have two different types of energy in our hand. Hopefully they'll... And the... God, that sucks. Kitchen Finks with the 9-month resub. This isn't Hexamagic. What's going on, Dwight? Thanks for the resubscription. I appreciate the support. So we awkwardly drew these two, and then our grass energy is in our prizes. So we're going to bin a Ho-Oh. I guess I could bin two Ho-Ohs. Do I really need to execute? I guess getting to execute in there is fine. Hopefully one of these trainer males finds an Ultra Ball or a computer search so we could discard these energies to bring back with Ho-Oh. There's the Ultra Ball right there. Yes, what we are playing right now is Pokemon's expanded format, which is similar to similar to modern. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab a Float Stone here because this Ultra Ball is going to grab Hoopa, which is going to grab Keldon. God, the tutoring in this game is so sick. And this was actually this was actually a small mistake here. I should have uh, Ultra Balled to find and done my Pokemon tutoring before trainer mailing because I would have had a slightly higher chance of finding the item cards I wanted after thinning the Pokemon out of my deck. So let's discard these. I'm going to go ahead and grab Hoopa. Oh, that's sad. I should have, again, remember when I said I, I, I needed to start taking note of which Pokemon are in my deck and which ones aren't? I, uh, the Pokemon that I was planning to get isn't, isn't in my deck. So the float stone's marginally worse here. So this gets three Pokemon out of my deck. I think I'm going to grab these two. So it's one, two, three bench slots. This is four. Ho-Oh's five. So yeah, I'm just going to grab two here. Because I want this Shaman to draw extra cards. Oh, I have a Skyfield. Oh, I'm dumb. Skyfield gives me extra bench slots. That was a mistake. Put a Float Stone on Hoopa. And then try and return this to my hand. Or to play. Yep, and we got there. And remember, this is all the first turn of the game, everything I've done here. I already made like 800 decisions and at least two mistakes. Drop to six cards in my hand when Shaman comes into play here. Uh, trainer mail, see what we find. Energy switch isn't bad. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that at all. Let's go ahead and grab energy switch. So, I'm going to go ahead and put an energy on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and be a little aggressive here. And use my energy switch right off the bat. Because in case my opponent in case my opponent has an end next turn, I don't want them to shuffle away my energy switch that I'm counting on. So then I will Oh really? I didn't play a supporter yet. I thought for <laughs> What a what just a, a comedy of sloppiest slops. I thought for sure I played a supporter in there. No reason to play this AZ out. Huh. Opponent played a Dredgeon here. It's a dragon Pokemon. Proud Fang. If your opponent's Pokemon has any break in front of the breaks in place, so 60 more. Flip two coins. Both of them are tails. The stack does nothing. Okay. Computer search. All right. Search for their favorite. Would not be surprised to see them get a stadium to get rid of this. Hoopa. That's what we got last turn. So let's them search up some more things. Search up all of the things. The standard meta is offered. I don't know. We played a bunch of standard today and it didn't seem that bad. I wonder if he's going to end with a lie, Sander, so I can't put the Xeranus up. Don't put me to sleep. Don't put me to sleep. Don't put me to sleep. Damn it. Super scoop up. Sure. 
Got the Hoopa back. Okay, that's scary. So they're going to use my Sky Bench against me here. Okay. God, their Super Scoop Ups are doing work for them. So Super Scoop Up is a trainer card here that they flip a coin, and if heads, they can return one of their Pokemon from play to their hand, which lets them re-trigger things like Shaman and Hoopa here. All right, have to discard one of my benched guys here. Going to bend the Shaman. Hopefully we wake up here. God, that's really unlucky. Oh, what are we doing here? Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the... Yeah, I'm just going to concede here. I think we messed up. I should have kept the Shaman on the bench because I had the AZ. And I could, I could AZ it back into play. It's really unfortunate. Let's try it again. I love all these comments. God, they're so... I, I, I hate someone... Uh, Matt was telling me he was talking to us. Matt, Matt Pamonte is one of the guys I play with and travel for Magic. And he does Hex stuff with me too. One of the Some of the kids were in the shop that he runs. They're like, are you going to start playing Pokemon cards with Jeff? And they're like, that game's way worse than Magic. And he goes... Have you guys ever played Pokemon? And they were like, nope, never once. And I was like, all right, good. You've never never played the game. You are certain that it's worse than Magic. Like, it's just so obnoxious. How do I feel about the coin flip RNG? I think the actual, the actual, a lot of the games have a lot less variance than a lot of things in Magic. So it probably balances out. You also, the coin flip cards are optional. Like a lot of the cards you're playing that flip coins aren't, are, you don't have to play. You're going to play two Modern Grand Prix in a row. Well, enjoy, I suppose. Yeah, the salt for Magic players is real. That's the that's the best way to put it. So my opponent's Pokemon here, Wobbuffet, has an ability where if this is their active Pokemon, none of my Pokemon's abilities work. Except for Psychic. So Hoopa still works to tutor up three cards, but like Shamans and stuff like that do not. Play Shaman. Please play Shaman. Please play Shaman. Rats. Alright, so I'm going to start on Trainer Mail here and see what we get, I think. Get a Verse Seeker. That's not very good. What am I Ultra Balling for here? Am I just like attaching energy to this and attacking? Is that absurd? I guess I could ultra just like Ultra Ball for Xeranus here. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. Just like Ultra Ball, ditch these and go grab Xeranus. Hi, bud. Can I come sit on Dad's lap? This is a free retreat cost, so. Yep, that's, you know, the current standard and modern formats in Magic are, leave a lot to be desired. Hey, bud. Alright, well, let's put this out here, and then uh, this has a free retreat cost, so retreat. And then uh, go ahead and Rainbow Force here. This does just 70 points of damage here. Neither of us have a lot going on. My opponent does have a Shaman as one of their two cards in their hand, though. So as soon as I knock this Wobbuffet out, they can actually just retreat it, too, right? Kind of surprised my opponent didn't retreat there. All right, Great Ball. What does that do? Nothing, really. Yeah, I'm just going to knock their guy out. Kind of surprised they didn't just retreat that and then allow them to get their Shaman going. 
They're expensive to get a deck going in Pokemon. The paper constructed decks seem to run somewhere in the uh, 150 to 300 dollar range for the competitive stuff. I don't know how much the online decks cost. I'm borrowing stuff right now. Compared to Magic, it's all every everything's dirt cheap compared to Magic. It's such a low bar. It's like, like saying a game is cheap compared to Magic is like saying a digital client is good compared to Magic Online. Those the the bars are so low on those two things that just like it's not even a meaningful comparison. We just evolved into a. That's pretty good. Last card is a draw six. Put three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon, and then what does this base mode do? As long as it's your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play item cards. Tree Slam. This does 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Sure. So, more importantly, this is 160 hit points right now. So, we need to get uh, five different types of Pokemon on our bench to one-hit KO it. Okay, so we can one-hit KO this potentially here. I gotta figure out what sequence I'm doing. It definitely involves playing this Xeranus out. Um, am I... Oh, I can't Ultra Ball either. Huh, that's a little rough. So I'm gonna put this energy on here. Oh, I can't play item cards, right? So I'm gonna play this Yevidal out here. And then I'm hoping this Coralus hits a type of Pokemon that we don't currently have in play. We get to draw six here. And hit a Ho-Oh, so we get to go ahead and put Ho-Oh out here. Hey, hey, what's going on, bud? Can you help with something? All right, hold on just a second. Dad's got to tell this. Dad's got to tell his opponent to taste the rainbow. Rainbow taste. 160, knock your guy out, grab a prize. I'll be right back. I'm going to go see what my toddler needs. All right, show Dad what you need, bud. one more off here and then we're going to call it an afternoon for now thank you everyone for hanging out and remember if you haven't already done so and you're interested in competitive pokemon you should check out the super rod podcast they are they are uh supporting the stream for the month of january sponsoring so i appreciate that never not heads You like to go first yes you have to wait and hope your opponent doesn't have their thing i disagree with that statement this hand is this hand's great it's got two battle compressors we won the coin flip there right i think we won the coin flip and again don't want to start with hoopa on the bench because he has an ability when he comes into play not like to put anything else on my bench or you can find the Super Rod Podcast. You can find them on um, YouTube and uh, oh god, I'm blanking on all the places. They're they're on YouTube or not YouTube. They're on iTunes, SoundCloud, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find them in all those places. So let's go ahead and battle compressor some of these cards out here. Grab some different types of NRG. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab a fairy energy here in case we hit an energy switch here at some point. How do you interact with your opponents? You're you you literally are required to interact with your opponent to win the game. You 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 have to attack their Pokemon to win the game. That's how that's how that's how the game works. That's that's interacting with your opponent. You inter you interact with the cards that they're putting on the table. We have a sky field here too. It's just everything's coming up, Millhouse. Let's go ahead and search for three EX Pokemon here. Get Keldon. Grab a Shaman to gas back up. Grab a Jolteon just in case we want it. So then we can go ahead. This this hand's actually super good. It's a really good example of how awesome 
all the sweet things this deck does. So Execute can come back to our hand here. And then we can go ahead and Ultra Ball here, discarding these two. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a backup Zaranesk. You usually want to have a second one going just in case they knock the first one out. Thanks, Zergish. Thanks for hanging out, and I appreciate you. Appreciate everyone watching this stream here, especially on a holiday. So ho, -Ho is going to come into play here and grab all these different kind of energies with him. And then we're going to go ahead and play the Shaman, because turn's not done yet. This is this is the first turn of the game. We're going to go ahead and draw, draw up to six cards here in our hand. And then, uh, <laughs> so... This is a balancing mechanic. You can't attack on the first turn of the Pokemon game because if we could attack on the first turn, we'd actually knock our opponent out here. We're going to go ahead and move one of these energies to here. So this could not use an attack on the first turn of the game. Otherwise, we'd be able to attack for a bunch here. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to... I'm going to play out any more Pokemon because if they knock our Skyfield out of play here, I um I don't want to have to discard too many off my bench. Okay, so there's their Hoopa. So what kind of EX Pokemon opponent stuff? They got a oh they're playing the Rayquaza deck. Okay, an M M M Rayquaza. Yeah, this deck the the battle compressors are just insane. They're very very good. Who who'd have thought having a bunch of buried alive is kind of okay. Unfortunately, don't uh, don't have any way to draw cards this turn. So we're just gonna. So this is again. This is how we set up on this deck. The Rainbow Force attack. Uh, oh, the Rainbow Force attack does more damage for each different type of Pokemon we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different types of Pokemon on my bench. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, attack for a hundred and or two hundred here because it does plus ten and then plus ten for a Fighting Fury belt. And AZ is actually a good pickup here because it'll allow us to uh, pick our Shaman EX back up and use that to draw some more cards. Oh, geez. Well, now I'm really glad I didn't play out extra bench Pokemon. They just got to draw infinite cards here. Uh, hopefully they don't have the card that makes all of their the stadium that makes Psychics cost one less. Uh, of course they do. Uh, I'm going to bin Hoopa here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to bin Hoopa. I guess I have another Xeranus in my hand. Yeah, I'll bin the Xeranus since I have another one in my hand. So now this can use, this Mew can use anyone's, any Pokemon to It's going to use Emerald Breaker to 150, I think. No, 160, it's got a Fighting Fury Belt. Crap. Uh, huh. really unfortunate. I'm probably dead. We'll put this up since it has a fruit tree cost, I guess. Yeah. Uh, huh. We could start by doing this, I suppose. And then we play Flygon here. And then we can Ultra Ball for something, I suppose. I have another Shaman in my deck, I believe. I could grab a Jirachi if I wanted to. What is Jirachi? Jirachi gets us a supporter out of our deck. So I could Jirachi into Corliss. And then Corliss draws me 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, that's probably the line. So, Jirachi gets me a supporter out of my deck into my hand. I 
I actually don't think Pokemon makes a good comparison to Hearthstone or Eternal or Magic or anything like that or Hex because of just how just because of how the resource system works, especially. The game just like works on a fundamentally different level. She's got infinite new cards in her hand, so we have a bunch of decisions to make here. Um Namely, what in the heck am I doing? We didn't find another energy switch, seriously. It's a little awkward. Oh, we're definitely putting the float stone on here. I'm going to hold this for a second because I don't want to... I want to have the maximum amount of time to think here while we're trying to figure out what I'm doing. I guess I'm going to battle compressor so I can have more different types of energy in my discard. Oh, I guess I already have the maximum here. All right, so we're going to put this on here to appease the timer. And I think I'm going to fighting fury belt this. And then am I super rotting some of these? I could super rod the Xeranus back into my deck. I don't mind that. I probably want those in my deck at some point. Putting energy back in for now and then Battle Compressor some of them back out. Battle Compressor. Put some things back into our deck. Put some things from our deck back into our discard pile here. I definitely want a Fairy Energy in the bin. I don't need another Float Stone since I have a Float Stone on the Keldon. Trainer Mail's fine. I probably don't need another Super Rod at this point. Zerglish with the new subscription. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Welcome. Um, I can't lie, Sander, this turn. This is doing 150. I put a Skyfield into place. So he's probably just going to be able to knock out whatever I put, put up to bat, realistically. Oh, I suppose I can fly on him, right? That seems okay. Yeah, actually, I'm going to retreat. Retreat this for the Flygon, and then Flygon has an ability which makes my opponent switch their active Pokemon. Oh, this is they have a Keldon Floatstone set up too. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Um, I'm gonna try and activate this and get it into play with a Fairy Energy on it in case we get an energy switch through later. So it comes into play with these two energies on it. And just gonna go ahead and pass the turn. How many DCEs am I through? Double Colorless Energies, just one. That's good for us. Actually didn't play an energy that turn, which feels a little bit bad, too. What is this thing they got building up over here? If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent's deck, does 60 damage more for each fewer Pokemon you have in play. That's kind of sweet. It lets them, like, if someone um, parallel cities them, they can use Lucario to kind of beat down when they when they're parallel city locked. Oh, and then Mew. Mew can use Lucario and M Rayquaza's ability. That's really interesting. It's a sweet build our opponent has. I grab a supporter. Yeah. You gonna kill my Xeranus here? Kill my Ho-Oh, sure. Bin Hoopa, Bin Jirachi. I can't, yeah, I can bid Shaman because I have another Shaman in my hand. That's fine. And they're smart. Knocking out the ho -Oh is good here. And this is going to do 160 exactly. Knocking out the ho -Oh with the fairy energy on it is good. Because that's the one I want to energy switch over to Xeranus. Uh, we'll put this up since it was a float stone. It could be it could be anything basically. Another Sycamore. Okay, well, let's start with this. See if we get it back into play. Alright, well, I got that going for us at least. And then, what am I doing here? Um, 
I don't really have a lot going on. I think I need to hit... I think I just need to hit DCE plus an energy switch here, basically. So um, I'm going to Verse Seeker for my Coralist back to my hand. And then go ahead and shuffle my hand back into my deck and draw 10 new cards. So energy switch and DCE is ideal. Uh, we got some trainer mails. So we got another. Oh, we got a computer search too. All right, let's try trainer mail first. There's the energy switch. Okay, sweet. So actually going to end up in an okay spot here. Um, we get to go ahead and energy switch from. This is a really good game. Energy switch from here to here. And then put this on here. And then retreat this. And what am I thinking about here? Both our sky fields are gone. I don't think there's anything I want to search for in particular. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, rainbow road this guy for lethal exactly. One. Whoa. Whoa. Why didn't that. Oh. 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 I'm so dumb. Oh. I'm so dumb. Oh. I'm so dumb. These are. These are the same type. God, I'm just so used to, I'm just so used to them all being, I don't think there was anything I could do there to prevent that. Was there? Was there anything I could have done to make my guy lethal? God, I felt like I was playing so well up until that point. Yeah, rip me. No, I'd already played a supporter, so I couldn't daisy. No, I could I couldn't evade Z. I already played a supporter. We played the Coralist to get these cards. So that was not a mistake. Okay, so they parallel cityed themselves, so this this could knock out my Xeranus in one shot. Pretty, pretty good. Am I just supposed to, like, grab a fairy energy here? Both my energy switches are gone, right? I think I only have two energy switches in this deck, which might which might be one too few. We had three in here originally, and that might be correct. Um, let's trainer mail and see what we find. An Ultra Ball, sure. Let's go ahead and computer search, ditching this, and I feel like I don't really want Sycamore. I might end this turn just because I only have two prizes left. But what do we got in here? So I don't have another energy switch. I have a Lysander. So I could just grab I could just grab this fairy energy here. I grab the fairy energy to put on this Ho-Oh and then swap this Ho-Oh up and just start attacking for 80. That doesn't seem completely unreasonable. Find the exact list. Yeah, they will be the ex my exact deck list will be posted under the YouTube videos uh, when they get when they get archived. Oh, I could have gotten uh, my execute back to discard to that computer search instead of discarding that. That's loose. All right, so let's a. I think I'm gonna go ahead and a z here and pick this ho -ho up. And then I'd rather have the Ho-Oh in my discard pile than in my deck. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and discard these two before I before I go ahead and end here. And then I haven't played. I played I played the Fairy Energy for the turn. So I'm going to go ahead and... No, I already played a uh, Supporter 2. Never mind. So I can't end yet. Oh, this is weak. God, I, I always forget to check the weaknesses and resistances of things. I always forget to check that. Although, I guess they could have another one here, right? This evolves from this thing. Yeah. Oh, jeez. And now they're going to go wide. 
and kill me with kill me with this thing. <sighs> yep. If it's resistance to this base form, it's not resistance to it if it evolves into a metal type, though. I should have put this into play, though. Most likely. So the moral of the story is we should have used N instead of AZ. That is, that is exactly the moral of the story. I thought... I was under the impression that I wasn't going to knock his guy out, so I wanted to AZ to give us the same number of Pokemon. So, yeah. That's that's why I did what I did. And they have energy to attach to here and then knock knock my guy out. So, the moral of the story is we, we threw that away. That's too bad. It was a really good game, though. There was a lot of back and forth, and we highlighted some of the, the mistakes that I made. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off for a little while, I think. Nah, let's not, let's not end on a loss. Let's let's play one more. Kids are upstairs with my wife for now. Let's let's try and find one more. Try and end on a high note. Try and end on a game where I don't make a bunch of mistakes and lose. Speaking of kids, my youngest is awake from his nap now, so this actually will have to be the last one. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Ultra Ball, Tyranus is the opener. Sign me up. Opponent has no bench Pokemon, so we'll put ours up there, and then we're going to have to draw an extra card before the game starts here. And then again, we're, you know, if we make no mistakes and lose, I'm okay with that. I really, I really am. We, we at least played well. Hopefully this trainer mill finds a battle compressor. We got like three draws though, because they've mulliganed a bunch of times now. So we get draws from those and then we get a draw for the turn. Certain play, that's fine. Oh, my opponent won the coin flip there too. Yeah, definitely want to start it on the bench. I thought we won the coin flip, but nope, that's right. We did lose that. So this is a stage two, but they can start with it as their as their basic if it's their only or only active Pokemon. Arrow Blitz double the old double tutor. God, this card's so good. This must be the Grenja deck that someone else was playing the other day. My Someone else mentioned that this was a real deck that my opponent was playing the other day that uh, they just got fairly unlucky. There's the end to undo the extra cards we got from the mulliganing. Sounds it's fine. It's got a battle compressor in it. Terran Terror with the subscription. Welcome back. I appreciate the support. Grab this and a lightning energy here. What am I doing with the rest of these cards in my hand? I could 
computer search for Hoopa and start a Hoopa chain. That seems fine. Yeah, let's do that. And I can actually discard this energy here. Yeah, I'm discarding the energy because there's a ho -Oh in my bin, and it's the third type of energy for that. Thank God the Hoopas are. I need to start checking when I search the first time to make sure the things I want to search for are in my deck. <laughs> Messed that up enough times today already. This is one. Okay. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to intentionally be one short here so I can draw an extra card and still have a chance. I, what I sh should have done here is I should have tried to return the Ho-Oh before using the Hoopa. Because now that this missed, I would have been okay getting the extra thing with the Hoopa. Um, I haven't been playing a ton of Eternal. The constructed format is you just you have to dump a lot of money into the constructed format in order to be competitive in it. And I'm just not really willing to spend that much money on a game where there's no resale value on the cards. So I could Ultra Ball here to get the Execute in my discard pile before I go ahead and end. That seems okay. So I'm going to go ahead and Ultra Ball and bin this and the AZ for now. What's another type I want here? Just grab Jolteon, I suppose. Go ahead and put Jolteon in here and then go ahead and end. Found an energy, that's good. So we can put this out on here. Trainer mail, does that get me anywhere? I'm not sure, I should probably hold this. Ah, Fighting Fury built is fine. Go ahead and snake one of those and put the Fury belt on this one that we just put the energy on. And then I can go ahead and rush this in and then swap him back out for the Hoopa because he has the float stone on him. And then pass the turn here. Yeah, I mean, I I put money I put money into Eternal too. I ended up uh, I think I I bought like thirty dollars worth of stuff, and I don't even have I I put thirty dollars in, and I feel like I don't even have sufficient stuff to build like a tier one constructed deck, which seems kind of wild. But to each to each their own. I don't. So we're gonna grab this other battle compressor out of here because we're out of energies and stuff to bin with it. And at this point, what's another thing I don't really want in here? I think I'm going to bin a random extra... I'm going to bin Lysander, so that way when I draw a Versus Seeker, I have it in there for potential utility. Oh, actually, I have Versus Seeker here in my hand. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go ahead and Verse Seeker and grab back N, I think, here. And that's and that's fine, and that's one of the reasons I never never play Hearthstone. I under I understand that that's that's how it works. I just don't think that that's acceptable. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab AZ back here actually, and pick this sh Shaman up, and then this gives me a chance to get my Ho-Ohs back into play, and then energy switch them. And if the Ho-Ohs miss, I can Shaman to sweet ho -Oh hit. So I can go ahead and grab grab these. And then I can go ahead and energy switch to move from this ho -Oh over to here. And then I can rush in with this. 
Okay, but here's the difference. In non-CCGs, if I, like Hex, for instance, when I, when I started playing Hex, I put in $100 for $20 worth of in-game currency and $80 for a deck. At any point when I wanted to get out of Hex, I can sell those cards back out. Any money you put into you put into Eternal or other CCGs like that, you're just, you're never getting it back out, which means if I'm spending more than, I don't know, 40 or $50, that's not worth it to me for a video game. I'm not going to spend more than 40 or $50 on a video game. I think that's unreasonable. And everyone's entitled to spend whatever their own personal amount of money is on whatever they feel is reasonable or not in their own mind. And in my mind, spending more than $50 on a video game, I don't think is great. And you, you can spend time to get those cards as well. You can choose to pay with your time as a choose to as a choose to paying with your with your money, but I don't want to pay a bunch of time to actually I don't want to have to play a mini game to play the actual game I want to play. And the game I want to play is Brew Sweet Dex and Constructed, and I can't brew sweet decks and construct it without dumping in a bunch of time or money, so that makes the game not enjoyable to me, so I don't play it. It's a, like that's the you know, I don't, I don't like the CCG model. I don't, I don't enjoy playing it. So, you could, you could technically sell your account if that's not against the terms of service of whatever you're playing on. Sure. But then you're locked into. You have to find someone that wants to pay the amount you're happy with and want all of the specifically the crap that's on your account, and it has to be someone that's currently not playing the game. Because if they're already playing the game, they can't transfer the stuff from your account to theirs. So there's just, there's a lot of complications, basically. I don't want to have to work to play, basically. Grinja. Until your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon opponent has in plain hand has no abilities. You may return a water energy to your Pokemon from your hand if you just swim more damage. And Hearthstone, see? It's against the terms of service, sure. I mean, I'm just going to one-hit KO this, right? Oh, he knocked my energy off. That's unfortunate. So I'm just dead? That's, that's gross. Yeah, I'm basically just dead here. I'm doing all right. We're about to get washed out of this game. That's a really nasty card. I guess I need a. I guess I need a good trainer to I need like a verse seeker or something here. They have this special water energy on this that when this gets knocked out, this goes back to their hand. I can't rush in. My Pokemon have no energy on them. Can't, or no abilities. When he attacks with this, my Pokemon have no abilities. Can't can't rush in. Alright. That's that's something. Am I supposed to play all these out? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to play all these out. This is weak to water, too. God, that's rough. Uh, train... I guess I can... I guess I should trainer mail before I super rod here. I grab a fighting fury belt for this. This attack does how much damage? I think it does... 40... 
So it'll do 80 to Ho-Oh, so I can put this on here. How many times have I decked myself? Once or twice to date? And I already played a... I think I'm going to go ahead and Super Rod here. Put these energies back in my deck. But I guess I kind of want to wait for him to knock this Xeranus out so I can put the Xeranus back into. Yes, it's a pretty good last one. I guess we did rip a Corliss, so, you know, first for... Another Grenja, yep. Let's put this up. It ain't it ain't great, but that's what we got. Waiting on them to pick a prize or what? Well wait, what? How did... Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. I wasn't paying attention to what happened there. They discarded my tool. They discarded my tool to knock down, and then they got to attack there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Start with Super Rod, I suppose. Maybe I should have trainer mailed first there. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. I, don't, I have no idea what we're looking for. I guess we're technically looking for energies now at this point. I could suit these Xeranuses back up with energies and then knock them out. Okay, I guess that's that's a, that's a plan, basically. I think that's a thing that exists. We are able to do. Um... So I should probably Verse Seeker for Coreless and then Coreless after adding another Pokemon to my bench here. Discard this and a Sycamore for now. Go grab another Pokemon out of my deck. Flygon is fine. Doesn't really matter. I just want to thin the deck out and add another guy to my bench, basically. Let's put this into play. Do I want to trainer mail to thin the deck. I think I do at this point. Doesn't really matter what I get here. Uh, floatstone. Okay, floatstone might matter. Floatstone gives me time to set up, potentially. Let's put this on here for now, just in case we ever get to use an ability again. Then we'll verse seeker back the Coralis. And then, oh, we might actually get close to decking ourselves here. Maybe I didn't want to get an extra Pokemon on my bench. I only have four cards left now. I guess I can always, I have a Verse Seeker here. I can Verse Seeker for N, I suppose. Yeah, I think if we would have had a third energy switch there, I could have select Pokemon to discard. What do they do? All right, so get rid of this, this, and this. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put third energy switch back in the deck. That was definitely, that was definitely good. Happy he's not drawing any breaks. 
I'm not sure what those do, but I'll take your word that we'd be pretty dead without them if he had they had them. So this next turn will be able to deal 130. And it'll deal, either he's gonna knock this out and then we'll have one, two, three, four different types on the bench. Slide this up. Super, uh, do I want to put stuff back in my deck? Yeah, I definitely do, right? Let's put this. Get some energies back in. I could Verse Seeker for N. That doesn't seem awful. It takes all the cards out of their hand, too. Okay. Maybe maybe we have a chance this game. I haven't played. I already played an Energy this turn, so I'm going to go ahead and put Skyfield out, I think. No, nah, I don't really need to put Skyfield. Nah. I guess this just lets him heal. Yeah, okay. Let's Verse Seeker for N. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, I want to do that. It's, it's warning me that I'm going to have less cards in my hand, and that's fine. But their hand's going to go away, and they're going to draw three cards. And it's actually pretty good for us. I got a fairy energy back out. And then this is going to knock this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and put this out on my bench, I think. Yep. All right. Knock your dark out. Okay, another fairy energy. Arrow Blitz, the old double tutor here. We're actually... I, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like we're in an okay spot right now. We get to knock this out and grab another prize, and then we've got another another Zeranus ready to go. God, I drawn a Verse Seeker there. It's really good. Verse Seeker's just like Demonic Tutor at this point in the game. Even though he get, he did just double Demonic Tutor, so hopefully... So... Depending on what they do here... Oh, that's that's pretty good. So we're going to trade, basically, if I knocked... Uh, that's a break. Once during your turn, you may discard an energy card from your hand if you do put six damage counters. Holy crap, that's disgusting. And I got punished for playing the double colors energy out. Uh... So this this is definitely going on here
This has 170 on it, so I need six types on my bench. I don't think I have six types left in my deck. Let's find out. Actually, no Pokemon left in the deck. So, if I... If I would have, instead of putting those extra random energies back into my deck with the last Aranus, if I would have put a Hoopa and a Shaman into my deck, I could have Verse Seekered into Coralist and then Coralist into a way to kill this this turn. There. Well played opponent. Like, I guess... Yeah, it's just... I'm finally dead. That was a good game. A lot of back and forth. I feel okay ending on that one. We had a small mistake, but I would have had to I would have had to predict that we were gonna have to kill something with 170 like two turns out to see that. So it wasn't like a it wasn't the shame concede, that was just uh this game's finally over concede. I don't I don't think we need a Dragonite. Uh Dragonite also wouldn't have done anything there. The super rods are more than sufficient for recycling the guys that we need back into the deck, I feel like. So, all right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Uh, there's multiple. Re the reason I'm going to answer this question real quick. You don't play the Volcanion in the expanded version of Rainbow Road because Volcanion EX has overlap with the Ho-Ohs, which are much better because they can actually attack and you can grab them with your battle compressors. And they have overlap with the uh, Keldeon, which is great for the Russian floatstone interaction. So um, if you're interested in deck list specifics for any of these decks that we are playing right now, um, they will be linked under the YouTube archives that will be going up uh, probably within the next hour or so. They take a little bit to upload and process. So I'm going to sign on off here. Hope everyone's having a good new year. I will catch y'all later. I'm going to go ahead and give someone a host here.